Holly Short. A start class article from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. HTTP colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash holly underscore short. Recording based off the November 13th, 2008 revision. Copy editing was done by user Calvin1998. Contents. 1. Character outline. 2. Work and appearances in this series. 3. Sources. 4. External links. Holly Short is a fictional character and a LEP recon captain in the Arte Miss Foul children's book series by Owen Culliver. Note, an info box and picture accompany this section. Character Outline Holly Short is a talkative and sarcastic elf with an auburn crew cut and hazel eyes, as well as the point ears and chestnut-colored skin typical of her species. She stands at three feet in height, one centimeter shorter than the fairy average, and has a gymnast-like stance. Holly is the first female officer in the fictional organization LEP Recon. In the companion book, The Arte Miss Fowl Files, she notes that she eventually earns the respect of her male colleagues. Holly is able to disobey the orders of superiors and defy rules if she believes that she can be of more help that way, and has gotten into trouble multiple times for defying a direct command. She is described as pretty, but in a dangerous way, comparable to a black widow. Her interests are playing the fictional fairy game, crunch ball, reading, especially thrillers, and flying with artificial wings. Holly's mother, Coral Short, is described as a European elf who was temperamental and had an appearance similar to Holly's. It is revealed in Arte Miss Fowl, the time paradox that her mother worked in the Lower Elements Police Division, LEP Marine, and died after she was exposed to dirty radiation, which is poisonous to elves. Holly is also the great-granddaughter of Cupid. And appearances in this series. In Arte Miss Fowl, Holly is abducted by 12-year-old criminal mastermind Arte Miss Fowl II when he uncovers evidence of fairy existence. He demands one metric ton of gold as ransom. When she consents to granting Arte Miss wish of restoring his mother's sanity, he releases her along with half of the ransom. In Arte Miss Fowl, the Arctic Incident, Holly is sent to detain Arte Miss when he is a suspect in a goblin uprising. She, along with Arte Miss, Malach D. Gums, and Commander Julius Root are informed by Foley that Opal, Cowboy, and Briar Cudgeon are behind the uprising. They break into Cowboy Laboratories, where Cudgeon is killed and Cowboy is incapacitated. After the goblins are contained, she travels to Mermans to rescue Arte Miss' father. In Arte Miss' Fowl, the Eternity Code, Arte Miss requests Holly's help to heal the Mavoy Butler and retrieve his sheep cube from American businessman John Spiro. Together with Malch Gums, Juliet Butler, and Foley, direct technological elements of the mission, they break into the Spiro needle and retrieve the cube. Arte Miss is mind wiped at the end of the mission under the directions of Julius Root. In Arte Miss Foul, the Opal Deception, Holly is with Commander Root a paternal figure to her, when Opal Cowboy kills him. She is subsequently framed for the commander's death and is forced to flee from fairy authorities. She later collaborates with Arte Miss Fowl, Butler, and Mulch Gums to expose Cowboy and prevent her plans for destroying fairy civilization. At the end of the book, she resigns from the LEP. In Arte Miss Fowl, The Lost Colony, Holly is working as a private detective since her resignation from the LEP, along with Mulch D. Gums. Holly is informed about the demon race, a species of fairy that left Earth and are now inhabiting an island in Limbo, and is recruited to Section 8, which monitors them. When it becomes apparent that Artemis has encountered a demon, they encounter Minerva Paradiso, who has managed to obtain a demon. Artemis and Holly along with two demons, Number One and Kwan, are forced to go to High Bras to save demon civilization. When they arrive back at Arte Miss and Holly's time, they find that three years have passed. In Arte Miss Fowl, The Time Paradox, Arte Miss and Holly travel into the past to find the silky cypher 
The only thing that can save Angeline Fowl from death by a fairy disease, Spelltropy. The pair are forced to outwit her to Miss Younger Self and Damon Kronsky, president of the Extinctionists Organization. They eventually encounter Opal Cowboy, who needs the silky cyphic lemur to increase her own power. Angeline is freed, but Opal disappears at the end of the book. When Artemis comes close to death, Holly kisses him, but later regrets it when he reveals that he blackmailed her in the beginning of the book, by tricking her into thinking she was the one who infected Angeline Fowl. Sources The sources and references have been left out of this book in addition. Please visit the article for them. External links There is one external link to characters. Holly Short at the Arte Miss Fowl fan gathering. Please see the article for the link. Thank you for listening to the spoken edition of the Wikipedia article, Holly Short. The sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License. Available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.